Lord Master, we thank you, Father, this moment as we have come to worship you. Bwana mfalme na mmekuja jioni ya leo kukuabudu wewe. Master, may you be in this gathering. Bwana tunaomba katika mkutano huu. And may you anoint us as we speak to this Na ebu utupake mafuta tunaponena na kizazi hiki cha vijana. Let this meeting not end in vain. Ebu jali ya mkutano huu usipite usi bure. Let someone uh, always remember this day that from that day something happened in my heart. Ebu mtu mmoja na atakumbuka kwamba siku ile kuna kitu fulani kilifanyika moyoni mwangu. Let the power of the Holy Ghost wake among us. Ruhusu ruhusu nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu zifanye kazi miongoni mwetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. So tunaweza kusimama read proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 tasoma eh, kitabu cha methali 22:6 it says nasema train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it. Mlee mtoto katika njia mpasayo naye hata iacha hata atakapokuwa mzee. May the Lord add his blessings upon the reading of his word. Bwana ongeze baraka juu ya kusoma kwa neno lake. We cannot get seated. Sote tunaweza kukaa. I have seen that you, you cannot stand Naona na nimeona naomba msimame tena kwanza. Nimeona mara tu baada kumaliza kusoma. Nimeona mnakaa kabla hata muhubiri hajawaruhusu kukaa. Alafu pia nimeangalia nimesema Mungu abariki kusoma kono lake haraka mkachukua viti vyenu mkaketi bila kusema amina It is you should agree eh, ni ninyi mnatakiwa mkubali Bwana aongeze baraka juu ya kusoma kwa neno lake ninyi mnatakiwa ndio mkubali sasa Mnakubali kwa kus, kwa kuitikia amina May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his word Bwana aongeze baraka kwa kusoma kwa neno lake Sit down Asa kaeni yeah. Ndi ah ni ndio anatakiwa yawe hivyo mambo <laughs> should not make a preacher man think that I, I have made them tired to stand you just wait for him to tell you to sit down usimfanye mhubiri afikiri kwamba nitakuwa nimewachosha sana kuwasimamisha hapana ngojeeni mpaka aseme kaeni what if i want to preach while you are standing vipi kama nitataka nihubiri mkiwa mmesimama unaona sasa Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. So again before we can go somewhere. Pia kabla tujasonga mbele. I want uh, to go into another message. Nataka niingie katika ujumbe mwingine. Um, God. Uitwao Chakula cha kiroho katika majira yake Na ni ujumbe unaitwa kufanywa wana wenye mamlaka kiroho Ndio 
mtasoma kutoka kwenye para ya themanini ili tuwe na mwanzo mzuri amen amina we can't look for sympathy and be sympathized with hatuwezi kutafuta huruma na kuhurumi eh, sasa hairi. na kutaka kuhurumiwa Sambu too much sana we must listen to the child training of our father inatupasa tusikilize yale ma, mausia ya baba zetu he knows what is the best yeye anajua kilicho bora sometimes we say wakati mwingine tunasema when the gospel is being preached wakati injili inahubiriwa oh i'll go to my church leo nitaenda kanisani kwangu they don't hawa yeah. Awafanyi hivyo. I just believe it this way. Na naliamini namna hii. But remember. Lakini kumbuka, the Holy Spirit knows best. Roho Mtakatifu anajua bora sana. It knows to train you. Anajua jinsi ya kukufunza. Sometimes it taps the stick. Wakati mwingine anakamata mkongoto and corrects you. Na kukusaisha. You remember God made him the child trainer for the church the holy ghost unajua mungu alimfanya roho mtakatifu awe mkufunzi yani mtu anayekufundisha awe kama mtoto roho mtakatifu he loves the father anampenda baba and you always point to the father na daima yeye ataenyelekeza kidole kwa baba amen amen yes ndio and you know it is very it is even more difficult to find quotations for the uh, young ones than Ata. for the old unajua ni vigumu sana hata kukuta nukuu ambazo zimewalenga vijana moja kwa moja are you getting that unapata hilo but you should understand that lakini lazima muelewe kwamba the devil wants to do anything Ibilisi anataka afanye kila kitu to spoil you kukuharibu wow you are young wakati wewe bado ni kijana so that when you, you grow up kusudi utakapokuwa mkubwa all things have gone haywire mambo yote yawe yameshaharibika now sasa before i can i have got it some questions to answer but before we go to that let us touch this point in na maswali ya kujibu lakini kabla tuyafikie hebu niguse baadhi ya mambo i wish it was a, a preplanned youth meeting i was going at a certain point to divide you to talk to boys and to talk to girls light ningekuwa kwenye mpango kabla kwamba tungekuwa na mkutano wa vijana kama huu. Ningiwatenganisha nikaongea na vijana wa kiume peke yao na wa kike peke yao. Alright, vema. But anyhow, God Lakini, will help me. Hata hivyo Mungu atanisaidia. Because what you are in while you are young is what will be applied when you grow old. Kwa sababu kile ulicho ukiwa kijana hivyo ndicho utakacho kitumia katika ukubwa wako and remember nakumbuka god mungu loves also to start with young people mungu pia anapenda kuanza na vijana he knows when you, when you are young that is when you are strong anajua kwamba unapokuwa kijana hapo ndipo na nguvu your will is strong yani shauku yako ina nguvu you can pray and fast unaweza kufunga na kuomba without getting weak bila kujisikia mdhaifu because everything is strong kwa sababu kila kitu kina nguvu 
you can go from place to place witnessing because you are young kwa sababu ni wewe ni kijana but if in your young age you are lazy lakini sasa kama katika ujana wako wewe ni mzembe mzito until you are married or you marry mpaka unaolewa ama unaoa until you reach 45 you go Baka up unafika 45 you have no you? you have no testimony huna ushuhuda and you will never make one na hata hutaupata mmoja because me i can tell you when i was young i was fasting mimi naweza kuambia wakati ni kijana nilikuwa nafunga maybe seven days hata siku saba I, I don't promote fasting seven days but mimi sipigii debe kufunga siku saba this apani. is the testimony i'm giving na najaribu kutoa ushuhuda seven days siku saba pray kuomba wao witnessing huku nikishuhudia praying for the sick kuombea wagonjwa with that zeal of loving the lord na huo moyo wa kumpenda bwana and the messages that i know today na jumbe ninazozijua leo i read them when i was very young nilizisoma wakati niko kijana sana every morning kila asubuhi it was like tea ilikuwa ni kama chai kwangu i was finishing one message per day nilikuwa nasoma ujumbe mmoja mpaka naumaliza kwa siku then i take another one finish it hapo nachukua mwingine nasoma na umaliza and go for witness na naenda kushuhudia and that word as it stayed na hiyo kazi imedumu are you following that napata hilo now sasa the devil Ibirisi is cunning. Ni mjanja sana. The devil also Mwerevu. also wants to start with young ones. Naye pia shetani anataka aanze na vijana. And God also wants to start with young ones. Na Mungu pia anataka aanze na vijana. And you re- we read in the Bible it is written. Na tunasoma katika Biblia imeandikwa that he shall restore kwamba atarejesha the heart of the children back to their father mioyo ya watoto iwaeleke baba zao children watoto and when the devil hears that na shetani mara tu anaposikia hilo he will bring a lot of destructive devices ataleta migawanyiko ya kuharibu kabisa to destroy you kuwaharibu ninyi the first thing that the devil does kitu cha kwanza ambacho ibilisi hufanya he will wake he knows that as a young person anajua kwamba kama kijana from 13 to 18 kuanzia 13 mpaka 18 that is the uh, the age of discovery huo ndio umri wa kugundua vitu that is the age of discovery ni umri wa kugundua vitu kusoma mambo that is the age that you are even surprised about your own body huo ndio umri ambao unaanza hata kuushangaa mwili wako mwenyewe you are you are all at school isn't it nyinyi wengi mko shuleni sivyo how many are learning biology wangapi ambao wanasoma science. biology shule sayansi mikono juu Okay. Hmm. Okay. All of you wengi mmesoma hivi vitu. When we are here we are already anointed. Tunapo... And whatever I'm going to say it is just part of the word. Nikiwa hapa mimi ni mna upako na chochote nitakachokisema nitakuwa ni neno tu. You know the prophet when it was revealed to him to go and preach on marriage, marriage and divorce Nabii unajua alipofunuliwa kwamba anatakiwa aenda akahubiri kuhusu ndoa na talaka. He refused. Alikataa. But God said you go and speak to them they are my people. Lakini Mungu akamwambia nenda kaongee na hao watu ni watu wangu. They are my people. Ni watu wangu. He was trying to say no it will not sound well but go and preach they are, they are my people yeye alikuwa anasema sasa hii hata sikika vizuri mambo haya lakini Mungu akamwambia 
nenda kawaambie ni watu wangu now sasa at this age katika umri huu we call it in science they say sometimes it is a, I, I can just say the years of discovery where you start discovering things huo umri huo wa 13 mpaka 18 hapo unaitwa science umri wa kwanza kugundua vitu kujichunguza mwenyewe unaona sura inaanza kubadilika naanza kuona vindevu ndevu vinajitokeza unajiona kwenye kioo unasema ah vipi tena you hear the voice changing from a small voice to a big voice unasikia sauti inaanza kubadilika kutoka nyembambe na kuwa nzito eh ne? you are speaking a, a small voice now Unas, unaanza kuunguruma kama simba are you following that nafuata hiyo during that moment sasa katika kipindi hicho when you you you, you enter into that age unapokuwa umeingia kwenye huo umri That is the time again when a lot of imaginations comes into you. Hichi hicho ndicho kipindi ambacho sasa ubunifu yani unakuwa na ubunifu wa mapicha kwenye vichwa kichwa chako. And chaka. most of the imagination that we imagine. Na mambo mengi sana ambayo unakuwa na yachora kichwani mwako. 99% are false. 99% yanakuwa sio sahihi. They are false. Yanakuwa sio sahihi. You are just deceived. You are imagining things that are not there. Unajaribu kuchora picha kichwani ya mambo ambayo hayapo. Are you following that? Nafuata hilo. Okay. Let me show you this. Sasa hebu nionyeshe kitu fulani hapo. Look. Angalia. And again the devil has added. Na kisha shetani ameongeza tena the devices to add to your imagination. Ameongeza vifaa ama zana za kukuongezea picha za kuchora kichwani. Some of them are phones. Vingine ni simu. Then you go to you know una, internet. Unazama kwenye mtandao YouTube. And you then you start to scrolling for some things. Unaanza ku, 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 kupeleka vidole una, unapandisha picha hizi. Are you following that? Mnapata hilo? until your mind now goes mad mpaka akili yako inapatwa na kichaa you know when you are using these things unajua unapokuwa unatumia vitu hivi the bible says biblia inasema if your right hand kama mkono wako or your left hand is causing you to sin wa kushoto unakusababishia utende dhambi you cut it basi ukate It does not mean exactly that cutting. Haimaanishi kwamba uchukue kipanga ukate mkono. If you know that this phone kama unajua kwamba simu hii you can't control it. Uwezi kuicontrol, kudhibiti. Find a phone which you can control. Basi tafuta simu ambayo unaweza kuidhibiti. Because kwa sababu it is this time you should understand the prophet says ili lazima mwelewe ndi katika kipindi hiki nabii anasema eh? hmm. where where the holy ghost dwells or where those things that we imagine like you know infatuation love you know all those things that is also where the holy ghost dwells hivyo vitu ambavyo unakuwa na vichora kichwani mapenzi nini plana eh, wasichana hapo mahali unakowazia ndio mahali ambapo pia Roho Mtakatifu anatakiwa akae. So now can you see? Sasa unaweza kuona. If there is an imagination of a boy a girl there. Kama kuna picha ya msichana fulani, mvulana fulani amekaa pale. Evil things. Mambo maovu. And at the same time you are praying that like, Lord give me the Holy Spirit. Na wakati huo unasema Bwana nijaze na Roho Mtakatifu. Where is he going to stay? Hasa huyo mtatifa atakaa wapi? Is he, where is he going to stay? Atakaa wapi? Because kwa sababu the Lord cannot eat with the devil at the same table. Bwana hawezi kula meza moja pamoja na ibilisi, yani wakae meza moja wanakula pamoja. 
this is the table of the Lord. Asa hii moyo ni meza ya Bwana. And the, the prophet is saying, na nabii anasema, God dwells in your heart. Mungu hukaa moyoni mwako. Now for him to come. Asa kusudi aweze kuja. He does not just come and force himself into you. Haji na kujilazimishia yeye mwenyewe akae ndani yako. You have to prepare yourself. Wewe natakiwa ujiandae. You have to pass through all the processes. Unatakiwa upitie mchakato wote. Justification. Kuhesabiwa haki. Sanctification. Kutakaswa. Sanctification is the the the, the, the stage where the, you have you repented you have got no no boyfriend nowhere no Ut- girlfriend anywhere utakaso ni mahali ambapo umefika some umetubu na sasa huna mawazo yote ya msichana mvulana moyoni mwako you don't steal huibi you, you don't you don't drink hulewi pombe ni pombe i get that unapata hivi are you listening nasikiliza but there are some roots lakini bado kuna mizizi the roots do you do, can you can that is hebu uh, 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 ile picha ya mdwara a, a triuni being come here ile picha ya dwara it's there already oh it is already yeah. there yeah weka ile 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 are you getting that yeah. unapata hiyo so now here is when you are justified sasa unapokuwa umehesabiwa haki you have no girlfriend no boyfriend huna you have stopped this steady huna rafiki wa kike wa kiume huna umeacha kuiba nini vitu vyovyote hivyo but here lakini hapo ndani you don't have here a physical boyfriend but here you have him in mind hapa kwenye mwili huna rafiki kabisa yoyote kimwili lakini kwenye ulimwengu wa roho pale unaye kwenye akili zako through reasoning kupitia hoja through imagination kupitia huko kuchora picha ugonifu unawaza mambo hayo mabaya now here, sasa hapa this, this spiritual fornication that you do here huu uzizi au washerati wa kiroho unaofanya kwenye ulimwengu wa roho it is bad ni mbaya because it shall hinder the holy spirit from even reaching there kwa sababu utamzuia roho mtakatifu kufika pale ndani when you overcome here and here unaposhinda huko nje na hapo katikati then inside there ndipo kule ndani sasa when he comes to baptize this akija kubatiza hapo you are sealed unakuwa umetiwa muhuri and to the day of your redemption hadi siku ya ukombozi wako is that right hiyo ni sawa so kwa hiyo those imaginations huo ubunifu wa picha maybe a phone or other things can help you other books that you read that are not good can help you increase your reasoning imaginations and the other things abla simu ama vitabu vingine vichafu unavyo visoma vinaweza tu kukusaidia kuongezea yani hoja nyingi sana kichwani na ma, mapicha machafu kichwani okay now do you know sasa unajua that israel kwamba israel was proud of the virgins walikuwa wanajivunia sana ubikira When a virgin is supposed to have genesis. Ilikuwa binti akiharibu ubikira wake. The Bible says Israel. Biblia inasema Israel. Israel has committed wrong. Walikuwa natangaza Israeli imefanya washerat au umalaya. But it is you alone who has done it as a virgin. Then it was put upon Israel as committed wrong. Ilikuwa ni mtu mmoja tu kafanya jambo hilo. Lakini jambo hilo linahesabika kana kwamba ni Israeli nzima imefanya kitendo hicho. Mnapata hilo? Here, it is the same thing. Hata hapa ni kitu kile kile. A virgin is the power of kipawa change. Ubikira ni nguvu ya kanisa la kipawa. That's why every time 
Ndio sababu kia wakati. These things that you imagine that are vanities. Vitu hivi ambavyo unakuwa unawazia ambavyo ni upepo mtupu yani bure. Anyway, Havina maana. Anyway you should be taught. Bila shaka lakini hata hivi na pastor mfundisho. Again let me speak this it might look a bit sensitive to you. Hebu nisome na hili na niseme hili naweza kawa ni jambo nyeti kwenu. Concerning sexual behavior. Husiana na tabia za ngono. Are you getting that? Mm. Uh, sometimes you find that Wakati mwingine unagundua kwamba a sister or a brother ndugu au dada they they will start condemning themselves wanaanza kulaumiana moja kwa mwingine because of sometimes what happens on their own body kwa sababu ya yale yanayotokea katika miili yao wenyewe right so they start condemning themselves wanaanza kujilaumu damn i go to church mimi naenda kanisani and i pray na naomba but i feel my body again entering into you know you call it last but last and the normal body eh? the way god has created it sasa hiyo hali unaita tamaa lakini tamaa na hali halisi ya mwili jinsi Mungu alivyouumba eh mm. sometimes wakati mwingine when you are you eat you are full or when you sleep you are waking up unapokula umeshiba ama umelala unaamka you find your body is hot unakuta mwili wako labda una moto then you say ah nasema ah i have sinned nimefanya dhambi no hapana you should understand that that is how the body is lazima uelewe kwamba hivyo ndivyo mwili ulivyo to women it is sometimes there are some days when it becomes like that also to men to, to boys that, that there is a time when it becomes like that. wa wanawake au wasichana kuna siku vipindi ambavyo hayo mambo yanatokea namna hiyo na kwa vulana vile vile na kuaga hivyo now what is a sin on that one sasa dhambi kwenye cha eneo hilo is to help your body be hot by imagination or by what you look at the youtube ni kusaidia ni dhambi ni kusaidia mwili wako uanze kuchora picha kwenye mawazo yako kwa kutumia youtube or by imagining a boy or something au kuanza kuwazia fulana fulani au msichana fulani there now you can say this is now not normal sasa hapo ndio unaweza kusema hiki sio kitu cha kawaida but when the body is just working normally lakini kama mwili unafanya kazi tu kawaida you just ignore and start doing other things unapuuza tu unaanza kufanya vitu vingine we are all human beings sisi sote ni wanadamu what is upon you kilichoko juu yako what is upon you every human being ndio kilichoko juu ya kila binadamu So you should not just start saying eh Sasa anza kusema no me have even received the holy ghost Mimi sasa nimepokea roho mtakatifu but when i wake up eh you cannot be dead completely dead no that is not normal Sasa nikiamka na shanga eh huwezi kufa kabisa kabisa eti mwili ufe hayawezekani The body has to move Mwili lazima uendelee But moving of the body Lakini kuendelea kwa mwili should not make you be concerned. Haukupasi yani haitakiwi kukufanye ujali sana. Let it move take a sweep go and sweep sing a song. Wacha mwili uendelee chukua fagio fagia huku kiimba wimbo do this fanya hiki you find that it is not even there. Utashangaa hizo hali zinaondoka hazipo tena. Because if there is if there is something that you can defeat kwa sababu kama kuna kitu ambacho unaweza kukishinda it is the sensations of the body ni misisimko ya mwili they can be defeated quickly inaweza kushindwa tu haraka if they are undefeatable kama yani inakuwa imeshindikana yani huiwezi kuishinda even us who are married we cannot even be going away from our wives to go three months just preaching because hata sisi tulio oa oa tayari ingekuwa ni vigumu sana 
kusafiri kwenda mbali ku mwa, mwezi miezi miwili eh then Mitatu. if it is so impossible it is dangerous to move alone kwa sababu kama ni jambo lisilowezekana basi ni vigumu sana kusafiri peke yako but that is even a person who, who don't the, who, the, those who are not believers they can go to america and study and coming back without committing any adultery hata watu wasioamini hawa wa kawaida mtu anaweza akasafiri akaenda marekani akakaa muda mrefu na akarudi ajafanya uzinzi kwa kujidhibiti mwenyewe is that right je hilo ni sawa blessed be the name of the lord jina la bwana libarikiwe now sasa on that one kwenye hilo i'm going to open in the book of mika nataka nisome katika kitabu cha mika eh uh-huh. eh uh, mika Mika chapter 2 Mika sura ya pili verse 1 mstari wa kwanza We to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds Ole wao wakusudiao mambo maovu na kutenda mabaya vitandani mwao When the morning is light Unapopambazuka asubuhi they practice they practice it uyafanya because it is in the power of their hands kwa sababu yapo katika uwezo wa mikono yao You have read Mesikia hiyo Here it is saying who we unto them that devise iniquity hapa inasema ole wao wa kusudiao mao mambo mao and wake evil on their bed na kutenda mabaya vitandani mwao when the morning is light unapopambazuka asubuhi because it is in the power of their hand uyafanya kwa sababu ya katika uwezo wa mikono yao your body is in the power of your hand mwili wako huko katika uwezo wa mikono yako mwenyewe eh? amen You find now now that Sasa unakundua kwamba Are you you should be looking at me now Hebu nitazameni mimi sasa All of you wote I'm not going to fall down Sita dondoka chini hapa <laughs> This time you can look at me whether you are a sister brother no. Muda huu unaweza kunitazama If you continue looking at me I'll be suspicious But eh. here look at me Lakini ikiwa nimesimama hapa nitazameni hapa niangalieni All right? Vema. Are you all looking at me? Wote That is when you are going to remember. Hapo ndio mtakumbuka sasa. Are you get that? Mnalipata. Now, sasa. we have found that these things are mostly done by the lazy brother and the lazy sister who don't who loves the babies. Watu we bit mambo haya tunayozungumza utakuta yanawapata sana wale ndugu na dada wazembe wazito ambao wanapenda sana vitanda na kulala even during the day hata wakati mwingine mchana kweupe where, where is that sister is in the bedroom what is he doing yule dada yuko wapi yuko kitandani anafanya nini is she, she is asleep amelala oh, amelala oh, is asleep amelala au mvulana kalala ndugu kijana wa kiume by doing that in the bedroom unapofanya hivyo huko kitandani it will bring you a lot of imagination utapata picha nyingi sana za kuchora kwenye bongo zako don't be too lazy do something that usiwe mzembe mzito uwe bize unafanya kitu fulani and in the ending you will turn the devil will point you to your own body mpaka mwisho kabisa ibilisi atakugeuzia mwili wako mwenyewe you start marrying yourself unaanza kujioa mwenyewe and by so doing na kwa kufanya hivyo you are defiling your conscience utakuwa unaharibu dhamira yako that is where the bible says we unto them that devise iniquity hapo ndipo biblia inaposema kwamba ole wao wa kusudiao mambo maovu why should you sink too low in those things why should you, why should you sink too low kwa nini U, una uzame kidogo sana kwenye mambo haya you find a brother is saying unakuta ndugu anasema mimi mimi 
maybe let God give me a wife Mungu akinipa mke That is when I will stop doing this Ndio nitaacha kufanya mambo haya No you Apana. are deceiving yourself Unajidanganya mwenyewe Even when you marry if you did not marrying is not salvation Marrying is not the blood of Jesus Hata kama utaoa kuoa hakutakusaidia Kuoa sio kuokovu Kuoa sio damu ya Yesu If you enter into marriage unchanged and saved Ukiingia kwenye ndoa hujaongoka hujaokolewa You will be doing that while you are with your own wife Utakuwa ukifanya hivyo huku unaye mke wako nyumbani Because remember as long as the Bible speaks against it it is a spirit Kwa sababu kumbuka mradi tu Biblia inanena kinyume chake basi ni roho It is an evil spirit Ni roho muovu We have seen in the world some women they use candles they use everything Tumeona ulimwenguni huko wanawake wengi wanatumia mishumaa wanatumia nini vitu mbalimbali Never Kamwe because you should not pretend to be not a harlot while you are a harlot on your own Usijaribu kujifanya wewe kwamba wewe sio kahaba wakati wewe ni kahaba wa mwili wako mwenyewe Is someone listening? Kuna mtu anasikiliza? Some think that as long as I don't have a boyfriend. Kile fulani kwamba ni mradi tu mimi sina msichana yoyote rafiki. Sina mvulana yoyote. Doing this is normal. Kufanya hivi ni kawaida. It is not normal. Sio kawaida. I'm going to ask you. Nitawaulizeni. Is it normal to take the seeds? Je, ni kawaida kutwaa mbegu? That you are supposed to sow in the field. Ambazo lipasa upande shambani. And you take the same seeds be throwing them in the tamak. Alafu uchukue mbegu hizo utupe tu kwenye barabarani, barabarani kwenye barabara ya lami. Dropping them everywhere. Unatupa kila wakati. Is it normal? Kila mahali. Ni sahihi, ni jambo la kawaida. Eh? Mm. And then in the ending when you the time comes when you want a child na huko mwisho wakati utakapofika unataka mtoto you have already thrown your children kwa sababu umetupa watoto wako wengi and when you are not having a child quickly you say lord give me a child na unapokuwa upati mtoto haraka unalia mungu nipe mtoto nipe mtoto you, you even go to the pastor pray for me naenda kwa mchungaji hii niombe but remember you were throwing them. lakini kumbuka ulikuwa na watupa tupa ovyo And every time you come in the church like that you Afu come, kisha unakuja kanisani namna hiyo unakaa Because those things they wake up on your life you kwa, come you come weak in the kwa church Kwa sababu mambo hayo yanafanya kazi kwenye maisha yako unakuwa dhaifu umenuna kanisani Sometimes it gives you even sleep Wakati mwingine unajikuta unasinzia You are you are you are you are, you are supposed to move away from those spirits Unatakiwa uachane na hayo maroho because you cannot receive the holy spirit kwa sababu hutaweza kumpokea roho mtakatifu be you holy ebu iweni watakatifu as the heavenly father in heaven is holy kama baba yenu wa mbinguni alivyo mtakatifu and god na mungu according to the bible kulingana na biblia joel yoweli he says anasema i shall pour my spirit antamwaga roho wangu upon all flesh juu ya wote wenye mwili then it begins with young men alafu inaanza na wavulana young women wa, wana wavulana wa kiume wavulana nani shall prophesy vijana wa kiume vijana wa kike watatoa unabii old men wazee shall dream dreams wataota ndoto because why is he now going to dream dreams kwa nini sasa wa, why is now no there's no power to ah, go kwa nini wa, kwa nini wazee wataota ndoto kwa sababu no wazee hawana nguvu tena ya kuomba wao inabidi waote tu ndoto lakini wao na nguvu to be in prayers kuomba until paka you break in a vision utapasua mpaka uingie kwenye ono nowadays it has become opposite 
Sasa siku hizi imekuwa kinyume chake. We find that elderly people are the people who get inspired in the church. Kuta wazee ndio watu wanakuwa wanaupako wa, wa, kanisani wanaitika amina but the young men who are supposed them they have got nothing to think about the hope sasa unakuta vijana ambao hawana majukumu ya kuwazia nyumbani kwamba na majukumu ya familia they don't think about what they are everything it is prepared kila can't you go in prayers ana jukumu lolote kila kitu nyumbani kinaandaliwa kwa nini usiingie kwenye maombi? Are you get that? So, kwa hiyo, when you get married, unapokuwa unapoolewa au kuoa, whatever habit you have, tabia yoyote ile ulionayo. If you have not stopped by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will never stop kama ujazuiliwa kwa nguvu ya Bwana Yesu Kristo hutaacha tabia hiyo Are you following that? You will not stop. Hautaacha. Because kwa sababu it is the Lord who can help you. Ni Bwana anayeweza kukusaidia. Then now I come to Sasa nafikia mahali young boys young women young men young young women eh hey, wavulana wa kike wa nani wa vijana wa kike vijana wa kiume it is normal ni kawaida to find someone to marry ku ku, ku, ku yani kupata mtu wa kuoa au kuolewa naye it is normal ni kawaida it is normal ni jambo la kawaida choose who to marry kuchagua nani wa kumuoa are you getting that Awa, But now, Sasa. I'm going to give you something that uh, I may not quote now, but it is in the scripture, in the message. The yes. pastor knows it. Then how? Ntawa pa kiko flani ambacho sita nukusa saivi, lakini mchungaji anajua kiko kwenye ujumbe. When the, the 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 you know there is we have found that in the churches today, message churches. E, unajua tumegundua kwamba katika makanisa ya ujumbe leo some churches are promoting dating in the church. Uh, baadhi ya makanisa yana yani yanaruhusu miadi kanisani. Whereby ambapo a brother mvlana the pastor will allow that that brother should be going out with that sister. E, mvlana mchungaji anaruhusu kwamba mvlana anaweza kutoka na msichana fulani wanatoka out they go in town wanaenda mjini everywhere popote so that they can know kusudi waweze kujua each other wafahamiane before getting married kabla hawajaoana that hilo is not even right sio sahihi so many sisters have been dumped wadada wengi sana wamejikuta yani wale wa ndugu wanawaweka wanawaweka kati yani wanawacha njiani remember kumbukeni kama utamwaahidi dada that i will marry you kwamba nitakuoa and she agrees na akakubali it means that inamaanisha kwamba god has already Mungu tayari known you as a wife and husband. Amesha kutambua kama mme na mke. Amesha tambua kama yeye wewe ni mme na mke. Do you know that? Najua hilo. Okay. Sawa. Now, sasa. How can I intentionally know this sister knows that this one wants to marry and in her heart she loves me and then I'm just trying to walk with her and see and where i see that she is not okay i dump her and sasa inawezekanaje mimi mwanaume na jiigiza kweli kabisa najua huyo binti ananipenda kutoka kwenye moyo wake kabisa ananipenda alafu mimi naigiza tunaenda naye tunatoka naye mwisho wa siku na mbwaga kabisa anatafuta mwingine and then she find that alafu the, the pastor is announcing someone whom he, he was not working with Today the brother is going to marry Alafu huyo dada anakuja kushtuka siku nyingine mchungaji anasimama anatangaza 
instead of Martha anatangaza yani binti mwingine kabisa is going to marry Miriam oh Martha anaenda kuoana na Miriam na na, na William then, then Martha will just drop down kisha sasa yule binti ambaye alikuwa anatoka naye yule mvulana siku zote anapatwa na pressure na dondoka chini moyo unalipuka yes that is murder. Iyo, ayo ni mauaji. Someone is listening. Kuna mtu anasikiliza? That is murder. Ayo ni mauaji. And you cannot be innocent moving with a sister two of you the whole day and go home innocent. Na uwezi kujitoa ufahamu kwamba siku siku nzima una tembea na dada mko mjini mko pamoja alafu mwisho wa siku rudi nyumbani yani kabisa huhisi chochote the prophet said nabii anasema what begins first to marry is the spirit and the spirit kinachoanza kuoana mwanzoni kabisa ni roho kwa roho are you following that napata hii and you cannot know a woman na uwezi kumjua mwanamke by going closer to her kwa kwenda karibu yani kwenda karibu naye kwamba uko karibu naye uwezi uwezi kabisa uwezi if there is a, a being or i can call it a creature because we are all creatures if there is a creature that god has created to know how to pretend even for two years it is a, a, a woman kama kuna kiumbe duniani ambacho mungu amekiumba ambacho kina uwezo wa kuigiza hata kwa miaka miwili ni mwanamke once he knows that you are, you are interested she ah, can you pretend to mara anapojua kwamba wewe unashauku naye ataigiza atajifanya mnyenyekevu and you you find everything that a woman what that you you you, you need in a woman mpaka utajikuta kwamba kila kitu unachotaka kwa mwanamke but after marriage anacho lakini baada ya kumuoa sasa eh uh, that pretendence has gone unashangaa yale uliyokuwa unafikiri anayo hamna kitu so you can't you know a woman kwa uwezi kumjua mwanamke by coming closer immediately kwa kumkaribia tu hivi hivi immediately she knows that eh mara tu anapojua kwamba huyu mjamaa she changed like a chameleon ananitaka sasa anabadilika kama kinyonga. Are you getting that? Napata hilo. So, you may ask in your heart. Sasa unaweza kauliza moyoni mwako. How can I know her? Nitamjuaje sasa? Number one, let me Kwanza kabisa hebu niwasaidie. Niwaambie kitu kimoja. If you want to know a woman you want to marry you can study her without her knowing Kama unataka kujua ina gani ya mwanamko nayo mtaka unaweza kumsoma bila yeye kujua Don't even show a speck Hata usionyeshe of, of letting her know you Usionyeshe chembe yoyote ya yeye kujua kama unamfuatilia Even when you are greeting Hata kama unamsalimia Usionyeshe yani <laughs> yani unangangania mkono mpaka basi. Hapana. No. <laughs> She will know. Atajua. That why does he greet me Mba, always? Mbona when kila wanaponisalimia? When he comes to me the greeting is different from all others. Akifika tu kwangu salamu ni tofauti na kwa wengine. Then she will know that uh, this guy is interested. Atajua in huyu ananitaka wewe. Then immediately mara tu if, if she is also interested in you she will change kama na yeye sasa amesha kupenda au kutaka wewe atabadilika sasa na kuwa na maisha tofauti but if she is not interested in lakini you lakini kama hana shauku na wewe <laughs> again <laughs> she behaves in a certain way pia kuna namna fulani atakuwa akitenda whereby you can even sink down if ambapo wewe mwenyewe unaweza hata ukazama kwenye ari If she becomes she begins to behave like that in a negative way. Akianza kutenda kinyume na mawazo yako. Is that right? Ye ni sawa. So now look. Sasa sikiliza. When now in prayers. 
Sasa katika Sasa, maombi na kufunga observing someone baada ya kuwa umeona mtu with the character you need mwenye tabia unayoitaka eh mm. from what sometimes it is even good to study uh, the home hata wakati mwingine ni vizuri kusoma mazingira ya nyumbani then afterwards you don't go direct Uasa baadaye uendi moja kwa moja. You go to the pastor. Unaenda kwa mchungaji. Pastor. Mchungaji. I want to marry. Nataka kuoa. Because the pastor also. Kwa sababu mchungaji naye has the secret of the whole church. Amebeba siri ya kanisa zima. He can protect you and she can be protected. Anaweza kukulinda wewe na kumlinda yule dada. Are you following that? Napata hilo. The pastor can speak something. What um, um do you want? Chungaji anaweza kunena anene. I want a virgin. Akakuuliza, unataka mwanamke dada wa aina gani? Ukasema, nataka bikira. But the one you pointed at. Akamwambia lakini uliye mtu. She is not in the line of those. Uliye mtaja hayuko kwenye hiyo anga zako hizo. I have seen nimeona I have seen a woman a man going direct to a woman and then after the woman because listen you sisters you who go sneaking out private and go and be committing fornication let me tell you when you are marrying you are not going anywhere you have to confess everything to the man who will marry you aha uh-huh. sasa Ngoja niwaambie ninyi mabinti ambao mna tabia za kuchomoka huko vichochoroni na kwenda kufanya washirati na wanaume wengine. Ngoja niwaambie siri kwamba hautaweza kuolewa na mvulana yoyote huko ndani mpaka utakaposema yote njia zote ulizopita huko na wanaume wengine. You can hide from the pastor. Unaweza kumficha mchungaji. But when you, ca- you come and hide also from the man. Lakini ukija kaso kumficha na huyo mvulana before he marries you kabla hajakuoa all the children that will be born are adult as children watoto wote watakaozaliwa watakuwa ni watoto wazinzi and when you come to confess after five years na utakapokuja kukiri baada ya miaka mitano kwenye ndoa he has a right to divorce you and marry huyo mwanaume ana haki ya kukufukuza na kukutaliki na kuoa upya na mchungaji anaweza akaja hapa hapa kanisani with a white wedding na with, with a white wedding anaweza akawafungia ndoa hapa hapa kanisani na mwanamke mwingine akiwa amevaa shela it means that inamaanisha kwamba this brother has never married before huyu ndugu kamwe hajawahi kuoa kabisa hata kama ana watoto Unaona sasa? Pika yangu. Uwe makini sasa. Keep yourself clear. Hebu jitunzeni mkiwa wasafi. But you who have gone into that. Lakini nyi ambao mmeingia kwenye hilo still more. Bado if it is yours, don't fear. Kama ni ni lako usiogope. When a man loves which is revealed to him, still more confess. Oh, no, me I had that man who did this to me that, uh, this is my heart then the man say okay i forgiven you once he has forgiven you he will never for, for divorce you sasa kama aliwahi kutokea hilo wewe utakapompata mvulana utamwambia mambo yako maisha yako yote kwamba bwana mimi nimepita huku nimepita huko inabidi akusamee kama yuko radhi kukusamee na akisha kusamee basi mkifunga ndoa hawezi kabisa hawezi kamwe kutaliki hana ruhusa hiyo is it understood melielewa eh are you getting that melipata then we go back to the prophet again sasa tunarudi tena kwa nabii the prophet when he was in baptist nabii wakati yuko kanisa la baptist there in baptist kule kwenye kanisa la baptist he, there was no other order that he had Haku. There's there was no order that he followed in baptism. Hakukua na utaratibu wa kufuata kule baptist. He found hope. Akakutana na hope. And when they talked, 
walipoongea when hope agreed hope walipokubali they did not continue moving hawakuendelea tena kutoka immediately, mara, immediately mara tu the prophet told hope nabii alimwambia hope let us we go we do it 50 50 deal you go to your mother and i'll go to you ambia hebu tufanye 50 50 wewe nenda kwa mama yako mimi nitaenda kwa baba yako so hope went to the mother so, hope akaenda kwa mama and brabrenam was there in the house in the city of brabrenam alikuepo pale anasubiri ana jasho inamtoka and the daddy understood that oh, mpaka baba yake hope alipoelewa huyu kijana i've given her to you don't worry alika akawa amesoma katikati ya msaya akamwambia ndugu branam wewe nimekupa tayari hiyo binti chukua hata hakumtoza mahali are you getting that napata hiyo now let us come to this sasa hebu tufike kwenye hili na sasa when you hope died this is now the order that will fall sasa Hope baada hope kulala sasa huu ndio utaratibu tunafuata. Mida Mida was a maid. Mida alikuwa ni msichana wa kazi. Was looking after Bilipo. Alikuwa anamtunza Bilipo anamlea. So what happened? Nini kilitokea? One day siku moja Mida had a dream. Mida aliota ndoto. And in that dream na kwenye ile ndoto it was said it was told to him that I will send you the prophet Elijah. Ya akaambiwa kwamba nitakupelekea wewe Elia nabii. Then because Mida used to see people going to the prophet and he was interpreting dreams. Asa Mida baada kuwa alikuwa anamuona anaona watu wanaenda kwa nabii nabii anatafsiri ndoto zao. She also went there innocently without knowing the interpretation of a dream. Naye akaenda bila kujua chochote akamwendea nabii na kumwelezea ndoto yake. Said brother Branham. Akamwambia ndugu Branham, I have a dream. Nina ndoto. Eh uh-huh, tell me that dream. Uh-huh, ndoto iko vipi? I have dream that the boy said I shall send you the prophet Elijah. Na imeota kwenye ndoto sauti inaniambia kwamba nitakupelekea wewe Elia nabii. Eh? Ndugu Branham akaona eh is that a dream you can bring to me? Hiyo ndio ndoto umeniletea mimi. Come on, get out. Ebu, toka, toka, toka. Get out. Get toka. Out, get out. Oh, toka, toka, toka. Oh, it was very bad. Hasa ilikuwa mbaya sana. And you Mida? Paka Mida akachanganyikia. Was just like that from that. Akafukuzwa hivyo ofisini. Eh? Uh-huh. You know how God wants to do things. Najua Mungu anavyojua kufanya mambo. He was protecting the prophet from reproach. Alikuwa anamlinda nabii aondokane na aibu. Asije akaibika mnapata hiyo. Alright? Then. Now listen to. Sasa sikiliza hivi. Then when Mida went. Mida alipoenda kule. Then the Lord came down. Bwana akashuka huko kwa nani? And said it is me who sent her to you. Mimi ndiye nimtuma huyo Mida aje kwako. What can I? Ibrahim akasema, "Is sasa nafanya hivi?" Then Brother Brenham did not go to Mida. Dubranam hakumwendea Mida. Brother Brenham went to the elders. Dubranam akaenda kwa wazee. And he explained everything. Akawaelezea kila kitu. And the elders went to Mida. Na wazee wakamwendea Mida. And then Mida agreed. Na Mida akakubali. Then everything now was done. Ndio sakira kitu kafanyika. Are you get that? Napata hilo. Okay, there are so many things but let me wind up e, kuna mambo mengi sana lakini hebu nijerekebishe so many many things so so many many things kuna mambo mengi sana hapo but by the grace of god lakini kwa neema ya mungu let us see hebu ngoja tuone i see that you are hearing naona mnanisikiliza sasa because i am <laughs> seeing as you again you show that okay you are good. god bless you e, naona mna kwa umetulia alafu Jambo likigonga mnapiga makofi mna 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 mnatikia right. mina basi so, mnaelewa Since this is the message that we are following Sasa so, kwa sababu huu ndio ujumbe tunaofuata Let us take that standard Hebu na tuchukue hicho kiwango kipimo hicho There will be no reproach in the church Hapata kuepo na aibu kanisani Because there are some brothers who are hypocrites Kwa sababu kuna wandugu ambao ni wanafiki I want to marry you Nataka nikuoe It is not marrying. Sio ku, ah, ah, maanishi has got, kuoa. Got last. Yani anamejaa tamaa. When you just agree, mkikubaliana tu. 
again he will entice you into other things hapa ataanza kukushawishi kuingiza kwenye mambo mengine now because now na sasa unajua kwa sababu you are no Unajua uchumba ni kama tu ni wewe ni mke wangu. Just know that now this one is leading you somewhere. Sasa ujue huyo jamaa kuna mahali anakupeleka huyo. That's why you have to use the pastor. Ndio maana lazima umtumie mchungaji. If a brother comes to you like that. Ndugu yote akikujia namna hiyo immediately go and report to the pastor haraka sana nenda akamshtaki kwa mchungaji say pastor sema mchungaji is this the order of the message hu ndio utaratibu wa ujumbe because after hearing this kwa sababu baada kusikia if a brother is serious wants to marry kama ndugu anamaanisha anataka kuoa why going direct kwa nini aende moja kwa moja kule if he goes shortcut is cheating you akipita hiyo njia ya mkato anakudanganya <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Are you getting that? Nalipata eh? Now. Sasa. Did you hear that? Melisikia hilo? Everything is clear. Kila kitu kiko sawa. Okay. Sasa. Now the questions. Sasa kuna yale maswali. How can we pull away from the influence of our friends at school? Tunawezaje kujikwamua kutoka kwenye ushawishi wa ndugu wa rafiki zetu mashuleni? Let me say this. Hebu niseme hili. You being a believer. Wewe ukiwa muamini You are a light everywhere. Wewe ni nuru kila mahali. Have wisdom. Hebu uwe na hekima. In everything that you are doing. Kwenye kila kitu unachofanya. What you do is Unachofanya ni kwamba. You know that you go to school for Wewe unajua kwamba unaenda shuleni shuleni Not kusoma. to make friends. Sio kutafuta marafiki. So find someone. Sasa tafuta mtu fulani. Whom you know is bright in mathematics. Ambaye unajua huyo yuko vizuri kwenye hisabati, kwenye kiingereza. Hao aina hiyo tu. Not a, a not a boy. That alone you can be friends just in things of education wa au aina hiyo tu kwa sababu unaweza tu kuwa na marafiki kwenye maeneo ya, ya, ya masomo tu and by seeing your character na wakiona tabia yako you can even win her to christ hata unaweza ukawafanya wakaamini neno two is it right for a believer especially a youth to listen to songs christian songs from the and believers je ni sawa muaminio hasa kijana kusikiliza nyimbo a uh, ili mradi tu uh, nyimbo zozote za is christian na eh? okay. ah. je ni sahihi muaminio hasa kijana kusikiliza nyimbo za kikristo zinazotoka kwa wasioamini pastor azian interpreted we yeah. okay now listen Mm. That's clear. Um, pastor, I think the pastor will search this for you. I'm going to speak but you search. Sasa ili mchungaji labda atawatafutia nitalisema tu. Where the prophet talks ambapo nabii anazungumza kuhusu Elvis Presley songs. Kuhusu nyimbo za kina Elvis Presley. Pat Boone. Pat Boone. Are you get that? Napata hiyo. And he calls these two guys as Judas Iscariot. Na na waita wale jamaa wawili kina Yuda Iscariot. In one of these quotations, kwenye moja hapo ya hizo nuku, that is where he said, hapo ndipo anaposema, religious songs, nyimbo za dini, can kill the spirit of God faster than anything. Zinaweza kuua roho wa Mungu haraka sana kuliko kitu chochote. Are you supporting me? Nyimbo za dini. Mchungaji ananiunga mkono. Are you get that? Napata. So when he, when you see a preacher man is speaking against this religious songs. Ukinapomuona muhubiri anahubiri kinyume cha hizi nyimbo za kidini hizi. These are pythons. Poisons. They are pythons. 
Hizo nyimbo za dini ni mijoka yenye sumu kali. That in, the python is that is Ach, ni chatu. Okay. Okay. Hizi nyimbo za injili hizi wanazodai za injili ni machatu ambayo yanaweza kukukamata na kukufinyiri ambayo. Are you get that? Napata. How can because Peter said such as I have. Asa yawezekanaje kwa sababu Petro alisema kwa kadi kwa kile nilicho nacho mimi I give to you. Itakupatia wewe. Now what are we going to get from Elvis Presley? Sasa tutapata nini kutoka kwa Elvis Presley? Oh this world singers. Ama hao waimbaji wa, wa duniani hao. Yeah, Wao tuko na vimini and then they come to sing. Alafu anakuja kuimba. Oh, and sing like what angels. Na waimba kama malaika. But behave like devils. Lakini wanatenda kama maibirisi. It will kill you quickly. Itakuua haraka hiyo. How about a believer being a member of social clubs at school? and participate in some social activities for instance football volleyball basketball and, and so forth ah uh, vipi kuhusu maaminio kuwa mjumbe au mshirika katika klabu za jumuiya shuleni na kushiriki mfano kwenye baadhi ya za matendo au baadhi ya michezo kama vile mpira E, mpira wa miguu mpira wa kikapu mpira wa nani netball za wanawake the bible says be clever as a serpent bila nasema kwamba uwe mwerevu kama nyoka lakini uwe pia mpole kama hua it is you who knows your salvation ni wewe unayefahamu wokovu wako so you will know how to escape Kwa unajua namna ya kutereza kutoka kwenye vitu. Yaani kwa hekima. You know sometimes there are some other clubs for, for religious clubs. Unajua kuna baadhi ya baadhi ya vikundi huko shuleni vya dini pia. All those things are killers. Hiyo vitu vyote vinatafuta kuua. Find a way. Tafuta namna of making an excuse ya kutafuta kujiani kujiondoa huku in a smart way katika namna ya kijanja kabisa <laughs> because you, god will help you because mungu atakusaidia kwa sababu you know that you cannot be pretend to be a footballer unajua uwezi kujifanya kwamba we ni mcheza mpira uwezi you can't pretend to be a basketball uwezi kujifanya kucheza mpira wa kikapu you cannot go into christian clubs where is led by the world council of churches Uwezi kuingia kwenye hivi vikundi vya ma, vya dini mashuleni ambavyo vinaongozwa na umoja wa makanisa duniani. It will just kill you. Vitakuua at school. Huko mashuleni. You may find that a certain student is very bright and help to you, but he or her life is not clean. How can you benefit from him without being corrupt? Unaweza ukakuta kwamba shuleni kuna mwanafunzi mmoja ambaye ana akili sana na anaweza kukusaidia kimasomo. Sasa je, yawezekanaje upate faida kwa mwanafunzi kama huyo bila kujichafua? That's why I'm saying uh, my, my, my preparation was very fast. Ndio maana anasema kwa maandalizi yangu yalikuwa ya haraka haraka. I want to Lakini nataka niseme hivi. In the Bible, katika Biblia, somewhere whether in Job or somewhere. Nadhani kwenye Ayubu au mahali fulani. It is written that. Imeandikwa kwamba. Eh. Ken. Ken if a white thing. Eh? is in contact with something that is dark or that is foul it, it will it will be dented e, kama kitu cheupe kitagusana na kitu kingine kilicho kichafu lazima hicho kitu cheupe kipate doa kitachafuka pia 
Is that right? Hii ni sawa. But a dead thing. Lakini kitu kichafu. It is already dead. Tayari ni kichafu. It, it, there is no change. Hakuna utakibadilishaje? So if there is no other friend to find. Kwa hiyo kama hakuna rafiki mwingine wa kutafuta. You go and pray to God to let the Lord give you another one. Bora muombe Mungu Mungu akupatie mwaina nyingine. Are you get that? Amen. Even me I have in Chipata there is a certain man that I love so much that if I can be closer to him I can be rich. He, he loves me very much. Kuna hata mimi kule nyumbani mjini Chipata pale kuna jamaa mmoja ambaye ananipenda sana huko marafiki na kama ningekuwa karibu naye sana ningekuwa tajiri kweli kweli njoo ofisini wewe you are the people ninyi ndio watu that are needed in the society ambao wanahitajika kwenye jamii eh. ananisifia na na mapesa and for sure if i can just submit na kama ninaweza kujisalimisha tu kidogo i can be rich nitakuwa tajiri but you go into his office lakini ingia ofisini kwake eh, 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 eh. Mapicha ya ngono ya mejaa kila mahali kwenye ukuta. Ah, when, when pale. Unasikia kabisa ndani ya nafsi roho inangatwa kama inangatwa ngatwa tunapo. You are almost dead. Karibu unajisikia kufa kufa. Then you just tell him that oh sorry I'm going. <laughs> Afu unamwambia okay. samahani na unaondoka. See you later. Nitakuona baadaye. Yeah. Now, now what can I even if I, I want to benefit from this Sasa money, kama nataka hata kama nataka nipate faida kwa huyu. Should I risk my life to die like that? Hivi niahatarishe maisha yangu kwa jamaa mtu kama huyu? Eh? Umeona? It is not the prophet answered one young man that why you behave like that because you are an, an old man. Then the prophet said I was doing this when when I was like you. Kuna kijana mmoja alikuwa anamwambia nabii kwamba ah wewe unahubiri unatukemea sisi vijana hizi tabia kwa sababu wewe shazeeka. Nabii akamwambia mimi nikiwa kijana nilikuwa nafanya hivi hivi ninavyohubiri. Oh. There are two more questions remaining. Did you get that one? Mmelipata na hilo pia. How can it Now this what, what this for me how how can a believer inawezekanaje muaminio whose parents are an are believers are not believers ambaye wazazi wake sio waaminio and get along with the uh, the challenge that ah okay okay inaweze uh, yani um, ina Inawezekanaje muaminio ambaye wazazi wake si waaminio ku... the challenge uh, yeah these challenges like ah uh, ngoja ni let me read the question to them eh yeah. the uh, swali nasema kwamba eh, kama ni wewe ni kama mimi ni mwa, ni mtoto naishi na wazazi wasioamini je ninawezaje kuzishinda changamoto ninazozipata kutoka kwa wazazi wasioamini mnalipata hilo Yaani huyo ni mtoto ambaye hajaamini lakini ameamini lakini wazazi hawajaamini sasa anapata changamoto anashindaje I have heard Nesikia. This is such things like maybe unakuta mambo kama vile you go and buy a beer for me Wewe nenda kanunulie bia kule dukani You go and 
light a cigarette for me. Wewe njoo niwashie sigara mzazi wewe asiye. Your uncle has come you go quickly and buy beer. Njomba wako kafika hebu kimbia kanunue pombe bia kule. Are you getting that? Nalipata hiyo. Uh, I know it is very difficult. Najua hayo mazingira ni magumu kweli. Uh, number one. Lakini namba moja. You should show those parents that me I am obedient in everything now. If you can just understand uh, that A B C D I can't do. Inabidi kwanza uonyeshe wazazi wako kwamba wewe ni mtii kwa kila kitu wanachokuagiza. Usudi utakapowaambia kwamba jamani mimi ni mtii kwa kila kitu lakini kwenye hili na hili na hili. We are such believers everywhere. Tunao waamini wa namna hiyo kila mahali. Some they are children of witch doctors. Wengine ni watoto wa wachawi. They will be sent to go and dig the roots. Anatuma nenda kachimbe mizizi mahali fulani. They refuse. Wanakata. There is no there is no other good answer that I can give. I know that answer is very hard. Hakuna jibu zuri naweza nikawapatia kwa sababu najua ili swali ni gumu kweli. But be faithful so that God can be standing for you. Lakini hebu uwe mwaminifu sana kusudi Mungu akutetee. Is that right? Napata hiyo. How about having a girl or boyfriend who are not believers? Nini? Eh vipi vipi hili ni swali ninasema vipi kama nitakuwa na marafiki wa kike au wa kiume ambao sio waaminio okay the, I, i know here the question does not mean that you having a boyfriend with you and believe or a girlfriend it means you having a friend of the world and all this one having a friend of the world Unajua swali alimaanishi kwamba yani una rafiki kimapenzi inamaanisha kuwa na rafiki tu duniani ambaye sio muaminio kwa nini wa, wa kike na wa kiume pia. Okay. Yeah. okay, if it is answering according to the prophet, the prophet said let your children be playing with the children of the same believers, not outside. E, kama nitalijibu kulingana na nabii anavyosema. Nabii anasema kwamba Ebu acheni watoto wenu waaminio wao wanacheza na watoto waaminio wenzao I get that is the answer hiyo ndio jibu because for you to have kwa sababu wewe a world friend kama utakuwa na rafiki mlimwengu what are we what are you going to be speaking mtakuwa mnazungumza nini and what is he going to be speaking to you na yeye atakuwa anakuongelesha nini That one will influence you more than you can. Influence. Yule ana uwezo wa kukushawishi wewe sana kuliko unavyoweza kumshawishi. Me have failed in a neighborhood to have a friend, elderly friend like me. The meaning thinking that being an elderly person you will be hey, when he speaks a word. Mimi binafsi nimeshindwa kuwa na marafiki wenye lika zangu wazee. Nilikuwa nafikiri kwamba mtu akisha kuwa mzee sasa anajeheshimu nini tunaweza hata kaongea lakini ukianza kuongea na mtu mzee kabisa umri kama wangu mambo yanayotoka kinywani mwake mpaka unashangaa unasema mzee kama huyu anawezaje kuongea maneno kama haya then in the ending ndipo mwisho unasema ah mr so i'm going tafadhali bwana ngoja nitoke mama I I fail. Nashindwa not because I don't love that man. Sio kwa sababu simpendi. But the things that are coming from him. Lakini maneno yanayomtoka tu. They are killing me. Yananiua, yananimaliza. And with the sin, sin has got no age. Na unajua dhambi, dhambi haijui umri. No. Mm -mm. Uh, no, he is now old. Is now strong. Sasa unajua huyo acha kuwa mzee. Huyu ana sasa ana nguvu. It is not like that. Hapana. If the grace of God is not upon you, you are gone. Kama neema ya Bwana iko juu yako, umeenda. May God bless you for today. Mungu awabariki sana kwa leo. I can't go very far. Siwezi kwenda mbali zaidi. I can see the sun now sinking. Naona jua linazama kule.
May God bless you. Mungu awabariki. Do you have anything to ask? Je, yeah, muna swali lolote la kuuliza? Kama kuna swali lolote la kuuliza. Au mnahitaji kutafakari kidogo. Swali lolote kwa wadada wa ndugu muwe huru kuuliza. Hakuna there's one. Here. Can you speak? Lakini kama bwana na melifunua kwako jambo hilo unaweza hata ukataka kulikataa you can crush uwezi kulikimbilia moja kwa moja because it is god kwa sababu ni bwana and if god has called you na kama mungu amekuita they are why the prophet answer like that they are brothers who admire the preacher man they like the pastor is preaching then he says mm. If I can be a pastor, I will be earning a good living. That is what he says. Then no. he says, just know that what you what you are thinking about will be a big flop. Ndugu brana mana jibu swa hiyo kutokana na ndugu wawili ambao walikuwa meuliza kwa sababu wao walikuwa na wazo kwamba ah, yani kama naweza kuwa mchungaji kama yula alivyo, mtaishi maisha mazui, ndakuwa napata hela. Sasa ukiwa na wazo kama hilo basi uko kwenye makosa kabisa. I had friends also who were preparing the notes. They are not preacher men. Said this message that I am reading brother I'm preparing it for the future. Kulikuwa na wandugu ambao pia walikuwa wanaandaa masomo. Sio wahubiri, wanaandaa masomo, masomo. Alafu anakuja anasema ndugu, 
naandaa masomo kwa ajili ya huko mbele nitakapokuwa mhubiri nihubiri ndugu nasikia wito mvuto mkubwa Mungu atakaponiita kuwa mhubiri nitahubiri masomo haya all of them wote sasa nilikuwa na washanga sasa hawa me i don't see these things si it, it, it means that me i'm not even god sasa ina maana kwamba mimi hata sija sijaitwa until the lord started showing me a vision paka mungu akaanza kunionyesha mimi ona and that vision did not happen there and then na hata ile ona alikutokea sikio even for god hata nikasahau then as long as it is god who has called you mradi tu mungu ndiye amekuita he will do anything to put you on the in the field yeye atafanya chochote anachoweza kufanya kukuweka uwanjani you shouldn't even be wala usijihangaishe wewe mwenyewe unajisukumizia hapana. Just make your life right. Wewe saisha tu maisha yako. Uwe and sawa. Again, and another thing. Na kitu kingine. The problem with you brothers. Tatizo lenu ninyi ndugu. You are admiring the pulpit which is already there. Mnaonea tamaa mimbara ambayo tayari ipo hapo. That when God calls me I will stand on this pulpit. Mungu atakaponiita nitasimama kwenye hii mimbara hapa. This pulpit is for one man. Hii mimbara ni ya mtu mmoja. Yes others can be allowed but it, if he wants he can preach for one year without allowing not even brother. No, no anyone. He yani, himself alone. Hii mimbara ni ya mtu mmoja mchungaji pale. Yeye akitaka hata anaweza akahubiri mwaka mzima bila kusimamisha muhubiri yote hata ndugu kasaja anaweza asisimama hapa mwaka mzima. Oh the pastor is selfish. Oh doesn't... mchungaji ana He doesn't want us to be preaching. Choyo wa mimbara hataki tuhubiri. If you you are called can Wewe... the pastor hinder you from preaching all over. Wewe kama umeitwa mchungaji atakuzuia kuhubiri dunia nzima huko umejaa. You can tell if God has called you you can go anywhere and things will be following you wewe kama unataka kuthibitisha mungu amekuita nenda popote huko utaona mambo yanakufuata yenyewe until the pastor himself say mm, there is something about mungu, that boy mchungaji mwenyewe atasema mm, kuna kitu ndani ya yule kijana eh? not just i have seen so many people from the pew to here nothing meona watu wengi sana ananyanyuka tu kwenye kiti pale anataka kukimbilia mimbarani moja kwa moja hakuna kitu chochote ndani if you go to ndola most of the people me are witnessing to them preaching to them they are getting baptized everywhere go to hospitals praying for the sick i did not pray that when you call me lord you pray for the sick ah uh, and the sick are still there mimi nilikuwa wakati ndio hivyo natembea naombea wagonjwa huku na ubiri huku kila mahali mimi Sijawahi kujaribu kujichochea kwamba sasa nitakapoitwa na Mungu sisi nitafanya hivi hapana. Wewe umbea tu wagonjwa bado wapo tu unaweza kutembea na waombea tu. They are there. Wapo. A sinner is still there. Wenye dhambi wapo huko. Go and preach to him. Nenda kawahubirie. Pray for the sick. Ombea wagonjwa. Pray for the lame people. Ombea viwete. And everyone of us. Na kila mmoja wetu. We shall say the Lord has Tuta, kila mmoja atasema hapa kuna kijana ameinuliwa kwenye huduma hapa. Is it understood my brother? Limeeleweka ndugu yangu pale. Oh. Is there anything? Kuna ja, la ziada? Angalau ibala kuwe na uiano umetoka swali kwa wanaume sasa kwa wasichana pia yeah, that, that one is us uh-huh. maybe i'm sorry uh, but i would like you to know uh, what ana ah, okay ngoja niliweke sawa ndugu anasema 
angependa kujua ili swala la kulipa mahali chanzo chake ni nini neno yani ni kwenye neno au vipi where dowry was originated is from the bible e, 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 swala la mahali kulipa mahali linatoka kwenye biblia uh, we read it always in the old testament that if you find a woman you pay so many shekels whatever e, tunasoma huko kwenye agano la kale inasema kama utapata mke lazima ulipe e, kiasi fulani cha shekeli na kadhalika na kadhalika now it, it is not again a command that if the parents wants to give you they can give you without pay e, lakini pia sio amri kwa sababu kama wazazi wao wameridhika wanataka kukupea kuku yani binti yao uchukue e, basi inawezekana pia ukapewa binti bila kulipa chochote umeipata eh? there is a, a question here Kuna swali jingine hapa. Oh, Jama anasema je, nimelijibu hilo la mahali? Yeah. Alikuwa anajibu swali hata hajui kama analijibu. La mahali. Si limejibiwa yeah. hilo? Eh. Limetoka kwenye Biblia. Soma kwenye kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati utayakuta hayo mambo. Okay, a sister is asking a question. Dada anauliza swali hapo. A sister loves a brother. She has been praying for years. But a brother doesn't respond. What can she do? Dada a sister, a Dada anampenda ndugu. Naye dada huyu amekuwa akiomba kwa miaka na miaka. Lakini ndugu hakuna majibu yoyote kutoka kwa huyo ndugu. Sasa dada anasema afanyeje? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sister, dada subiri. Wait. Najua you, you are a precious uh, stone. Wewe ni jiwe la thamani. Wale wachimbaji migodini wakati wanachimba then here is a jewel. Hapa nakutana na jiwe hapa la thamani. And the peak is just passing here. Alafu ile shoka linapita tu hapa kwa pembeni doesn't push itself that dig me dig me no ili jiwe pembeni halijisukumizi halijisukumizi kwenye shoka na kumwambia shoka ni chimbe ni chimbe huko no hapana <laughs> it will wait ilo jiwe litasubiri and one day the peak will pass there siku moja shoka itapita pale pembeni na kuchimba amen and na It is good that question is asked. Ni vizuri kwamba swali hilo limeulizwa hivyo. Umeona? sisters getting mad in those you know when you are praying just pray and leave it to the Lord. Nimeona wadada wengi wanasumbuka sana kwenye jambo hilo. Kama unaomba, omba mwachie Bwana. There was one sister Kuna dada mmoja who wanted very much to be married to a song a song leader. Alikuwa na shauku kubwa sana ya kuolewa na song leader. Mwimbisha nyimbo. I think it was in Zimbabwe somewhere. Sijui nadhani ilikuwa ni Zimbabwe au mahali fulani. When a song leader is, 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 is singing, wakati yule kiongozi wa sifa anaimbisha, is leading the songs, anaongoza nyimbo. The sister was staying sitting in front here. Dada alikuwa anakaa mbele vile. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. Hey. Bwana asifiwe. Meet you in the rapture. Tutakutana kwenye unyanguo. Hallelujah. Now one day, sasa siku moja, that brother was transferred to another church. Yule ndugu akahamishwa akapelekwa kanisa jingine. 
like from here kama kutoka hapa he goes to mwanza akapenda mwanza huko and also the brothers because he was known sasa kwa sababu yule ndugu pia alikuwa anafahamika that is a good singer kwamba ni mwimbaji mzuri a good song leader ni kiongozi wa sifa mzuri even there he was given a, a, a platform start singing sasa na kule kule pia kanisa alikohamia akapewa akawa anaongoza sifa he started leading the song akaanza anaongoza sifa even there he just saw that sister found her way to mwanza yule dada akasafiri naye akahama akahamia kwenye kusanyiko hilo la mwanza huko kakaa kiti cha mbele tena yupo pale bado hallelujah hallelujah see you in the tutaona onana kwenye unyakuo then the brother said nipo ndugu anasema ah sasa you sister you are here wewe dada uko hapa yeah ndio ndio then ndipo sasa then in few few months or few days baada siku chache au miezi kadha the pastor announced now the marriage of the song leader mchungaji akatangaza ndoa ya yule kiongozi wa sifa that the brother is going to marry that sister you can stand eh mchungu wetu hapa kiongozi wa sifa atamuoa dada yule hebu dada simama kama yeye hebu njoo huku mbele and they, they were shown to the church na wakatangaziwa mbele ya kanisa the sister got mad yule dada akachizika kabisa she just stood up alinyanyuka tu and start going outside na kwanza kwenda nje see you in the rapture taonana kwenye unyakuo see you in the rapture taonana kwenye unyakuo <laughs> and that is how she got mad na uh, ndio alivyopatwa uchizi akawa chizi you know unajua it has been put in the man to choose a woman imewekwa ndani ya mwanaume kuchagua mwanamke you you can choose but leave it in your heart wewe unaweza ukachagua lakini jihifadhie moyoni mwako if it doesn't come to you don't even be bothered lisipotokea au lisipotokea kwako basi usisumbuke hata kidogo jesus is the one who chooses us yesu ndiye aliyetuchagua sisi He said it is not you who chose me. Alisema sio ninyi mlionichagua mimi. It is not you proper for a woman to approach the brother. Brother. How, how are you brother? Sio sawa dada kumwendea ndugu. Ndio ndugu. Ninakupenda. Niaje? Ninakupenda. Uh, <laughs> I love you. No. That is not you proper. Ayo uh, alijakaa sawa. You can be interpreted like you are a prostitute. Unaweza ukatafsiriwa vibaya kwamba wewe ni kahaba au okay. Just wait. Wewe ngoja tu subiri. Amen. Amen. There are two more here. Two more. Okay. Yeah. Quickly now. Ya kwanza nasema itakuwaje kama muaminio atampenda mtu asiyeamini? Eh. Yeah. How will it be if a believer Eh uh, to begin with kwa kwanza according to the message of the hour kulingana na ujumbe wa saho that is just a perverted love huo ni upendo uliopotoshwa you cannot go outside and love you know huwezi kwenda nje ukapenda kule unajua you you think <coughs> among all this wewe unafikiri kwamba so miongoni mwa hawa wote wangapi wako wengi sana all these you have gone through you have found that all these are useless ah wote umewaona hapa mpaka ukaona hawa hamna kitu humu and remember nakumbuka this is the dwelling place of god hapa ndipo mahali anapokaa mungu but you you go and pipi ni moebu where are you wewe are. unatoka nje unatazama wa moabi kule one brother what he did mvulana huyo ndugu mmoja alichokifanya in a certain church in monze kwenye kanisa moja huko monze he found a woman outside to, there ndugu alienda akapata mwanamke nje huko and brought and went to the past alafu kaenda kwa mchungaji i have loved that woman i want to mpenda huyo mwanamke huyo na so, Yupi. So you want to marry? Ah ah. Kwa nataka kuoa sasa. Hapana. Said I will preach to this woman. Na unajua nimemshuhudia. Okay. 
sawa. Then after baptizing her. Sa baada ya kumbatiza. The brother again immediately said I want to marry her. Ndugu mara moja akasema nataka kumoa huyo. Then the pastor in Mwanza said no. Mchungaji akasema hapana. You can't marry her. Uweze kumoa huyo. If you are genuine. Kama wewe ni Let another man marry her. Kama wewe kweli ni halisi basi Not acha you. ndugu mwingine amuoe huyo. If you marry her you are going to marry an outsider. Kama wewe utamuoa huyo utakuwa umeoa mtu wa nje. Regardless of how you have baptized. Haijalishi mmembatiza. How you have baptized. So haijalishi tumembatiza vipi. No me I want to marry her. Akasema mimi nataka ni muoe huyo bwana. You go but don't come here. Akamwambia kama unataka nenda lakini hapo sikanyage. And he, he married that woman. Naye akamuoa yule mwanamke. Now what happens? Najua kilichotokea. When he goes to work, akienda kazini, the woman goes to drink. Mwanamke anaenda kulewa pombe. Coming back, anarudi fighting. Ngumi zinawaka ndani. Eh, eh, in the ending, Mwisho. He, was, he was beaten here. And, and, Mwisho kabisa akapewa meno ya kifuani hapa kang'atwa vibaya mno. And to the flesh he came mpaka, out mpaka kipande cha nyama kikatoka kifuani that is now when the man said eh hey, ndipo sasa huyo mwana huyo ndugu kaamka eh nilimkosea adabu mchungaji nijidwa let me go and confess nikataa kumtii mchungaji sasa narudi pastor i have i married Jezebel naenda kutubu kwa mchungaji mchungaji kumbe nilioa Jezebel bwana so now you have known that is a, she is a Jezebel. Asa ndio umejua sasa kwamba ni Jezebel eh. From today. Kuanzia sasa. Don't step here. Get out. Usikanyage hapa tena. Nenda endelea na Jezebel wako. When the pastor tells you you may you may force it. Mchungaji anaweza akakukataza jambo. Ukalazimisha. The prophet said the woman that you are admiring she is not even beautiful. Nabii anasema kwamba wewe mwanamke unayemtamani huyo hata sio mzuri. You may fail to understand. Unaweza kushindwa kuelewa. There is no woman who is beautiful. Hakuna mwanamke mrembo. What is beautiful is the character in a woman. Kirembo chenyewe ni ile tabia iliyoko ndani ya huyo mwanamke. Because there are some other beautiful women than you who are divorced. Kwa sababu kuna wanawake wengi sana warembo wa sura kuliko ninyi lakini wametalikiwa. If they are beautiful. Kasa kama ni wata, wa, why warembo. Why divorcing a beautiful person? Kama ni warembo, sasa unamfukuzaje mrembo na kumpa talaka? Naona? Even a person you think that she is not beautiful, if she chooses a, a best partner, they become beautiful at the ending all of them. Sasa kama mtu ambaye hata utadhania kwamba sio mrembo aka wakaoana hivyo hivyo. Mwisho kabisa anageuka huyo wanakuwa warembo wote yani wanafurahia ndoa yao. Is that right? Amen. Uh, are you are you getting that brother? Nalipata hilo ndugu. Don't go. Usiende and hunt for a beautiful woman of this Muslim than bring them here. Usiende ndugu na kuwinda mwanamke wa Kiislamu huko nje na kumleta huko ndani. And these Pentecostals. Na hawa wa Pentecostes sasa. They look so much beautiful. Wanaonekana ni warembo kweli. But remember. Lakini kumbuka that you kwamba, have the sisters here. Tunao wadada huko ndani. Some of you you are just ashamed you want to marry. Now you fail. You fail to come up on the open. Say ah, how am I going to approach her? Just try and you see. Sasa try. Wewe wengine wanaogopa to these ones. Eh? Yeah, they are they, they fear them. Wakati mwingine wengine wanakuwa naogopa anasema mtaanzia mm. wapi kwa yule dada? Wewe jaribu tu utaona. Uh, are you afraid? Mnaogopa eh? <laughs> Them they are praying about you and you you are afraid. Sasa wale wako wanaomba huko. Alafu wewe huko naogopa. They are waiting they are saying you are not responding but they are praying. Wanaandika huku kwamba wanaomba alafu hakuna majibu. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Ikiwa nataka kupata maarifa fulani mfano kuhusu biashara. Je, naruhusiwa kusoma novel? Eh? 
yani vitabu fulani vinavyohusiana na biashara saying that if i want to get knowledge about business uh, knowledge about some a certain business am i allowed to read some novels which are concerning business yeah. uh, some kind of business so if someone wants business yeah. and there are some uh, books yes. to read yeah. for business yeah. it is normal eh hey, niyo ni sawa kama mtu anataka kujifunza kuhusu biashara fulani alafu kuna vitabu kuhusu vinavyozungumza biashara hiyo hakuna shida kuvisoma ili ujifunze if that is business hiyo ni biashara that is education hiyo ni kama elimu tu and you know why you are reading that na unajua kwa nini unakisoma hicho kitabu but don't you go and read novel because you want to know english no lakini usisome Usisome vitabu hivi vya novo au majarida eti kwa sababu unataka kujifunza Kiingereza hapana. Mungu awabariki. Mchungaji nimemaliza. 